Hi everyone, welcome to the Plan With Melanin podcast. Name pending, honestly, I definitely need some help with names. I've been trying to think of all different types of potential ideas for this, but I can't come up with anything. So, hi, welcome to episode zero of my podcast. Um, For this particular podcast, I am tracking my business, my success, my failures, and my growth. I'm also just having conversations about my life as I try to plan a life that I'm actually proud of, a business that brings me joy, and a life that I feel is worth living. For those who don't know me, hi, my name is Brittany, and I am the owner, creator, and the artistic visionaire for Melanin Eclectic LLC Trademarked Incorporated. Um, Melanin Eclectic is your one-stop fantasy stationery shop. As of recording this video, I am a full-time engineer and I run my business in the evenings. My goal is that by 2026, I hope to run my business full-time. Also, a life goal for me is this is the year where I will be able to say I love my life by the end of it, which sounds like a very large goal, but I think it's actually pretty attainable. So today... I would like to tell you guys my plans for this podcast. Um, It will not always be showing you guys drawings that I've done previously that you've already seen. These, all of these artworks are actually available in my shop already. So if you are interested, you can check them out. These are just some of the ones that I was really proud of when I drew them. So I figured they would probably be something that you guys would like to watch while I chat. So I want to talk about this thing that this segment, it's called Let It Grow. Let It Grow is where I'm going to be sharing things that I'm doing or sharing things that I'm reading or people that I have used to aid me in my business or my life. It's not always going to be one or the other. Sometimes it could be both. It really just depends on how I'm inspired for the day. But the first person that I would like to give a shout out to is the CEO Loft. This is the site that I've chosen to get my legal templates from, my terms and conditions, my digital image fees or my digital image contracts and things like that. I just genuinely feel um, like it was better for me to get a template from a lawyer than trying to do it myself. Um, She also had a really good Zoom meeting um, last earlier last month, so like January 11th, I think. And it was just a bunch of us in there updating our website's terms and conditions. Did you know that terms and conditions need to be updated every year? Totally did not know that. This was the first year I ever updated it. In fact, I'm still working on updating some of my terms and conditions, um, which is why I don't have digital items in my shop yet. So for that major reason, I just decided that I wanted to give her a shout out. I really appreciate utilizing businesses that help my business grow. And I will try to make sure to leave the information to her website and her Instagram down below. If you do go check her out, tell her that I sent you because I feel like she's a great resource for anybody that's trying to start a business, um, the importance of trademarking and all that stuff. I did not use her um, when it came down to getting Melanin Eclectic trademarked. Um, I actually found out about her way after I started the process. But if you want that information, we can have another a conversation about what I learned about trademarking and stuff and the resources that I used to get that done. I can't, I don't know what to call this, honestly. Again, this is episode zero, so everything's going to be fine-tuned later on, but I would like to give a product highlight. So like I said, I am the owner of Melanin Eclectic, your one-stop stationery shop, And did you know that Melanin Eclectic not only has reading trackers and reading planners, but also journals where you could write down your thoughts, your feelings, your brain dumps, keep track of your video games, whatever you want to put in them. We have soft cover journals and all of them are designed by me. Each one of them have a different um, piece of art for you. We have some Zodiac journals left. We have our Nature Mage left. 
We have the balance journal, which is the uh, masculine feminine energy art piece available. So if you guys want to check that out, I will definitely leave a link down below for you guys to check out. I think you'll enjoy it. You want to know the craziest thing about trying to record this podcast is the fact that sometimes you can have a beautiful take and you've never pushed record. So you have to go through and re-record everything with the same gusto that you had before. And when I tell you, my girl, I am shook. Like, I thought that I was over here having a whole conversation with you guys and I did not push send. So today's topic of my podcast is my 2023 goals and I wanted to focus on life first because there's not going to be as much life as there's going to be business um if you guys notice I did not do a vision board I did not post anything in regarding vision boards manifesting or anything like that and my reason for that is that I don't think I ever actually believed in those things for myself I think that I had fallen into this idea that if I copied somebody else's success story, that I would eventually get a success story. And that's just one, really delusional on my part. And two, just just not how life works. Um, I've been accepting my life. I have been accepting things I cannot control. It is very difficult for me to do that. But because of that, I stopped doing a lot of stuff because I couldn't truly answer the question of why was I doing it other than because other people do it. There was no personal resonance with any of the things. So like manifestations in the beginning of the year, vision boarding, crazy diet, super crazy exercise program. Um, I'm going to do all of my habits for 21 days and be like super gung ho. I've done that for years. And what happens is by Super Bowl Sunday, I'm failing at everything because I'm crashing and burning and everything. So this year has been more about grace and consistency. Um, Ironically, words of the year always give me like a focus point. And I felt like this year, I felt like God was telling me, you know, I've got to work on giving myself grace. I've got to work on loving me to where I deserve that grace. And so for me, my life goals are in fact grace and consistency. I actually really need to be kinder to myself. I... I am so mean to myself mentally that it manifests in ways that is not always the healthiest. And so that's something that I find very difficult to do is being nice to myself, um, allowing myself any type of emotion or ability or anything like that. So I'm allowing that. I'm also trying to be consistent with myself as I've given myself some rules that I need to follow every month so that I am ensuring that I'm showing up for myself. Um, That includes having scheduled work days. That includes um, cleaning my house into a way where, you know, clean mine, clean house, clean the house, clean mine. One of those ways makes it so that like that makes sense to me. And then the last thing that I really want to do It's just love me and my life. I want my life to be something that I, that I truly enjoy, not something that I'm just begrudgingly going through every day and sometimes wishing that it would end. I want my life to be something that I'm happy about. And I honestly don't, I don't know what that means for me to be 100% honest. I don't know what that looks like. I have journaled about it. I've cried about it. I've tried to talk to God about it. And I can't necessarily pinpoint a time in my adult life where I just felt really happy with myself. I can attach happy moments to people in my life, but as far as just me, it's been an absolute struggle. So with that being said, 
I am giving in to myself. I, I am, I'm trying and I will let you guys know about certain things as I feel comfortable doing it. Uh, there's no real plans there. I'm just vibing, literally just vibing off of that. And I don't know, let me know if you can relate. I would like to know your stories and like what you plan on doing for yourself this year. Okay. So the last part that I want to talk about today is my 2023 business goals. Now I actually have a lot of them, um, broken down into various sections, quarters, weeklies, all that stuff. But I just wanted to talk about five of them with you guys today, because I feel like these five are my top five for the year. And obviously the first one is involving consistency. I want a consistent social presence. Um, I want people to know my face. I want people to know my brand. I want people to want to buy from me and want to see my creations and they want to see my work and all of that. And I know that in this day and age, um, getting out there in person is one way and social media is another. And so I want that consistent customer base. And so to do that, I need to connect with my customers So I've been trying to read books about creating story brands and things like that, that draw people in and I want to fill that void. I want to be that space for people. So consistent ID presence is the top priority. Um, I also decided that another way to get people to see me and notice my business is to try to get my products into some physical locations. Um, I have tried to get products in physical locations previously, but I got rejected by places that I just knew that like, obviously I was a perfect fit for them, but I wasn't a perfect fit for them. And that took a real shot to my ego. We can't even sit here and pretend like my ego was her teen. But I'm not giving up and I'm even going as far as to specifically say, like, I want my products in Pearland Town Center at the black market and I want my products in Honey Art Cafe. Um, I have the pictures and stuff taken ready. I just need to record a video about what my story is so that I can attach that as a link in the email for them to check out because I do want people to know and understand my story and what inspired me to create Melanin Eclectic and what Melanin Eclectic is like being here in her fifth year because yes baby uh fifth anniversary is coming up so it's really happening um but I just want to I'm putting my business out there my baby deserves to be seen and heard by people everywhere and I've got to put in that work and try my absolute hardest to make sure that my business is what I want it to be. Another goal of mine for 2023 is for vending events. And lucky for me, I've already locked in for vending events for this year. It's not to say that I'm not interested in doing more because if I got the mental capacity, I'm definitely trying. Like I wanna do, um, hopefully Kindred Stories has their winter, um, their winter shop thing that they were supposed to have this year, but they canceled it. Hopefully they have that again next year. I want to be a part of it so bad. I want to, I definitely want to do a winter market. I want to find a spring market. I think that would be good. So if you live in the Texas area, I'm willing to drive and you know of any markets or anything like that, please let me know. Message me, comment section, whatever. Um, but we already have four events locked in. So If you're a planner like me, you might want to write these down. We have the Black History Month Black Market event on February 18th. I will leave a link down below to that Eventbrite information where you can get free tickets. Um, I will be doing my first ever Comic-Con, Comic Palooza during Memorial Day weekend here in Houston, Texas. I will be in Artist Alley. I am so nervous about this, guys. I'm trying to plan out my closet cosplay so that I can be comfortable, but still be in my full nerdy geeky self. And I'm also struggling to draw all of the stuff that I want done because at Comic Palooza, we will be doing mainly um, art prints, coloring books, 
and enamel pens um, and vinyl stickers. That's what we'll be doing for Comic Palooza. So if you're going to Comic Palooza, you'll be able to see me and I'll be able to see you. So can't wait to see you there. The third event, we will be with the Black Wall Street doing the Juneteenth events. Very excited about that. This will be my first Juneteenth event as a vendor. And then in November, we will be doing Small Business Saturday again with Black Market. So as like I said, if you know of any other vending events that you think I should do here in Texas, I'm not ready to travel anywhere that requires a plane. So I would like to stay in the Texas area for now. Um, but yeah, just let me know. I'm, I'm putting myself out there. Uh, luckily I have a great friend slash assistant who is always down with helping me. So I'm very blessed to have her and I know she's listening to this. So thank you, friend. I appreciate you. Another goal of mine is consistent monthly sales. Last month I got five sales, which I know to some of you, you're like, girl, what five? Um, yeah, five. I got five wonderful sales. So thank you for purchasing with Melanin Eclectic. I really appreciate you. Um, my goal for next month is doubling that number. So for February, we want 10 sales. And with the new releases, I'm hoping that we do get more sales. I understand that I didn't have any new releases last uh, month. And as I'm slowly going through and picking out things out of the website that I no longer want to sell, I'm also trying to add more things in there. So if you're listening to this um, today, well, it's posted. Yeah, because it's supposed to be posted on the Monday that I have new releases. So if you're interested in centaurs, if you want some more reading journal stuff, if you want reading stuff or reading stickers, um, functional stickers, you should check out what I've got in the shop. I'm sure you're going to love it. Link is down below as always. Or if you're just listening, it's www.melaninaclectic.com. Okay, so the last thing that I want to do is I want to do everything that I said I'm going to do. So I have recorded some content for January. We're going to post it and see if what kind of studio vlog I can come up with. Um, I'm trying to figure out what kind of studio vlogs. Uh, we have like a lot of things we could be going over and I want to show you guys what I'm doing. So if you're interested in studio vlogs, like I think I said previously, just let me know down below what you want to see. Um, like in this video, you know, you saw art, um, that I did last year, uh, that is in the shop already. Um, so if you want to see me designing new stuff, you'd be able to get sneak peeks of things that I'm working on. Like we're going to be working on a little mermaid series really soon. So I think that's something that we're going to be working on for this month. So I'm going to be trying to remember to record it. Um, I also do this podcast, like I said, the goal for this podcast is to have two episodes a month. Um, if it starts getting better for me and easier for me to do it, or if you guys end up really liking it, I'm willing to go up to once a week um, on top of whatever content I feel like posting that week. But like I said, we're going to be doing more videos. We're going to be doing videos where it's just me filling orders. I love those ASMR kind of videos. I don't know if y'all like them. But also I like studio vlogs like Catnip and Emily. Like I like those kind too. So I'm trying to figure out how Brittany and Melanin Eclectic, as we are now, how do we work in 2023? How do we want to be viewed in 2023? And while I'm extremely tired, <laughs> I'm very tired um, because like I'm doing my business, but also I'm trying to live my life. And, you know, that involves working out, that involves socializing, that involves um, having work hours. So I'm showing up for myself while also setting boundaries for myself so that burnout will not be the cause of my demise. Um, and that includes things like work hours. Like I said, I can talk about the things that I've, the boundaries I've set in place for myself. Um for my business and my life, if that's something that you guys are interested in. But I think for now, this is where I'm going to leave this. Thank you guys so much for listening. I would love to know your thoughts down below about the name um, that you think this podcast should have. I thought of CEO aspirations. I thought of, you know, 
Life Diaries. I thought of all these names, but I feel like because you guys have always been supportive of me that, you know, we could come up with a name together. So let me know what you guys think about this. Um, can you relate? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you're listening to this and I finally got this on like Spotify and stuff, thanks for listening. I'll see you guys next time with the next episode. Bye guys.